Light rays. I just wrapped up an incredible eight-day landscape photography tour all around Ireland, co-hosted with the amazing Sarah Lindsay. We explored some of Ireland's most stunning locations, from iconic landmarks to hidden gems. And today, I'm excited to give you a quick recap of the highlights from this unforgettable trip. Let's go. We started off in Dublin with a visit to the Guinness Storehouse. Great views and, of course, a pint to kick off the tour. After that, we hit the road, hoping to catch some Aurora magic at the Giant's Causeway. Unfortunately, the show had ended, but it got us excited for the next morning. Sunrise at day two started at the dark edges, just us and the mist. No epic light, unfortunately, but Sarah rocked her yellow dress shots. And after a hearty breakfast, we headed to Downhill Beach, with its Musadium temple standing tall. The wind was wild here, but we braved it until Sarah's drone was blown away, never to be seen again. Now by sunset, we were back at the Giant's Causeway, the golden light hitting those famous columns. Absolutely unreal. One of the moments you just had to stop and take it all in. Sunrise at day three began at Fanned Lighthouse and it was picture perfect. Waves crashing against the rocks and the lighthouse bathed in the morning light. Now the afternoon found us at a moody, picturesque Dunluwy Church. This is where Sarah had fallen in love with Ireland a year before. And more yellow dress shots here with some stunning compositions for the group. And we finished the day at the incredible Crahi Sea Arch. The sunset was cloudy but the scene was still incredible. The soft, diffused light brought out the rugged textures of the rocks, giving us an entirely different but equally magical end to the day. Day 4 sunrise brought us to see the Pallet Sea Arch and some dramatic seascapes in the early light, before we were off to explore some beautiful countryside into the lake at Harvey's Point. This really gave the crew an opportunity to experience some of the tranquil sides that Ireland has to offer. And as the sun began to set, we set off and arrived at Cassie Bond Castle in County Sligo, this stunning structure with Ben Bulman in the background. Now the light was perfect for capturing this iconic scene and it certainly had plenty of photo opportunities for the group. After a lion in the morning of day 5, we hit the road south and explored some abbey ruins with a round tower before heading into County Clare for a quick visit to Dunagore Castle. It was sunset that we were after after all and the Kilkey Cliffs at sunset was just pure drama. Waves crashing, cliffs glowing and a sky to die for. This is what the Atlantic is all about. Head torches kicked off day six at Pool Nebron Portal Tomb. Photographing this ancient site under the misty sky felt a bit surreal. An incredible trip around Ireland with the amazing Sarah Lindsay and some absolutely epic people to be able to have on this journey with us. We've covered so much ground. We've had all of the weathers that you could possibly imagine. Everything I promised them we had almost in one day. We had phenomenal winds. We had one drone that decided to go bye bye, but we won't mention anything about that or who it did it, but yeah, we'll have a guess who. And then we took in some incredible scenes all around the north coast, all of Donegal, and now we are down in County Clare at the Pool Nebron Dolmen for sunrise. But 
Today is going to be a day where I don't think we're going to get much light. We have a lot of rain that's forecast, but we also had rain that was forecast for yesterday evening, but we found a pocket of light and it was incredible. I'll give you a look at some of the footage that we would have had and some of the shenanigans that we've had along the day, and then I'll chat to you more once we continue on this journey. But it is amazing so far. We're nearly there, but we're not done yet. Let's go. And before we knew it, our next county beckoned, the Kingdom of Kerry. And of course, a quick stop at Blennerville Windmill, and we ended up on Clogher Beach, where the Atlantic waves crashing against the cliffs made for an incredible sunset shot. After driving the length and breadth of Ireland, where else would I bring Sarah and the team on this tour but to this beautiful and my favourite area, the Dingle Peninsula. And right now we have some incredible conditions. Look at these waves, look at this light, and to over here, these waves are breaking incredibly along this coast. It's going to be phenomenal down here. I hope you enjoyed seeing the trip that we've done so far. I've looked at some of the guys. They're really, really happy, amazing images, and some of the best locations in Ireland on this tour. We're going to continue on here now in Dingle, and you'll know what it's like if you follow my channel. And if it's your first time on the channel, welcome to the best place on earth for landscape photography. Day 7 sunrise in Dingle brought us to Kennard's stunning beach and epic sea stack with some wild waves. And after an incredible breakfast and coffees later, we arrived back at the peninsula to Dunmore Head. This place blew everyone away with the views of the Blasket Islands and the incredible cliffs that line the way. And, of course, for sunset, we had to take a visit to the famous winding path at Duncan Pier. And this gave us perfect compositions and the light when the sun set on the last evening of the tour. So Sarah, how was your second trip around Ireland? Well, you know what I'm going to say. It's been amazing, of course. I think, well, for the clients, obviously, they have got some incredible shots. And for me, it was so good to see repeat see some of the locations from my first trip because I did the camper van here which was very special to me so to go back to those places was unreal and reshoot them but I think what was the best part of the Ireland tour this Ireland trip has been the new locations and coming down south into an area that I have not explored because even though it's all very similar I do feel that there is a big difference between up north and the south but I will say of everywhere that I have seen so far, and I know there's many locations that I haven't seen, I am still favoriting, I'm gonna say it right, <laughs> Donegal. I don't know, I, there's just something about that area that is just special. It's peaceful, it's quiet. You, are, you already know I want to move there and go buy a little cottage on the cliff. And it's been amazing. And also you have been amazing. You're an amazing guide and have filled us with so much knowledge and taken us to some crazy locations. So it's been wonderful. I love it. And look at the light we got. Ba -da -ba -ba. Light rays. Oh, I didn't even talk about the conditions that we had. We had rain. We've had how many rainbows? I don't know. Five to ten, maybe. And we've had a little bit of rain. A little bit and everyone keeps telling me that Ireland is extremely rainy but I think we've only seen like two days of it so my first visit it was all sunshine and the second visit of course a lot of sunshine mixed with a little bit of rain just to give us that authentic Ireland experience but actually the wind the wind has been a new experience for me as you can see and I should note unfortunately on day two, I decided to fly my drone and it was the first time and I really got to experience what happens with the wind in Ireland because I think it took my drone into the ocean. It's not a tour without someone ruining something of their gear. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our trip now and look what Dingle has 
delivered for everybody on this trip. I knew it wouldn't disappoint and it hasn't disappointed. We're getting some incredible light rays here that are beaming down over the islands. Great storm clouds above us as well. And it's going to be the last shoot. I hope you enjoy coming along on this adventure with us and the clips that I would have shown. It's been great. I know the guys have really enjoyed it as well. So some good shots. Number of months now for editing all the images that they'll need to do, but nonetheless, it's a well worthwhile adventure. So thank you very much as always for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and if you want to join me for one of my own workshops, I'll link to those in the description as well below to some stunning areas around Ireland. Thanks very much, Slong the Fall. And that was it. Eight days, endless landscapes and memories to last a lifetime. Massive thanks to everybody who joined us, and of course to Sarah for trusting me with this epic adventure. If you're ready for your own Irish photography journey, reach out. And if you've enjoyed this recap, hit that like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Slong the fall, everybody. Thanks for watching.